It's Ambone for ExtremeRadio.com, joined by Big B, Brian Mahoney, the Brian, real name. Brian David Mahoney, to be I like, exact. I like the way you're holding the mic there. You, you I'm kind of feel it, like you're going to bust out a flow right I'm now. I'm keeping it in it, but there's no flows being bust out, busted out. Well, I wanted to get to know like the real Big B right now. You have the new record out, but before we talk about the new record, you were also in a local band in town, 187. It was kind of the hybrid of the rock rap uh, genre. But what happened with 187? Why did it break up and why did you leave? You know, the, the thing with 187, it, everything was good. We had major labels looking at us. We did a lot of big things. Did a remake of Colors with Ice-T. And then 9-11 um, happened and they just did not want to hear it, you know, what we had to say or anything. And it just kind of went downhill from there. And then uh, one day it was just it was just time to, you know, call it quits. And that's what happened. How did you make some of the connections with meeting up to do colors? Because like you guys remade it together. Yeah, we're just good friends through uh, just mutual friends. And it kind of was one of those deals. You know, I was doing a lot of security work at the time. And I just got to be good friends with Ice. And I asked him to do it. And I was like, this is such a long shot. And he's like, I'll be in the studio next week. Have everything ready. And I was like, oh, man, I really haven't even recorded the song yet. So then I had to go do it. It was just on a whim. And it worked out pretty much as Ice. And everyone else, you know, it's just been just never burn bridges kind of thing you know just keep it cool and, and don't talk a lot and tell people what you're doing kind of right. show them what you're doing so you made good connections in 187 now it 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 fell off and you went solo well see the funny part about that is i went back to work painting cars because i was like ah, oh, this music thing ain't working out i gotta provide for you know my family so i was working at a body shop one day and i get this call from a friend of mine he's like hey we're signed to Atlantic Records. We need you to come in and write some songs with us. I was like, I'm not really into it. And then they said, well, this is what it pays. I was like, I'm out of here. I quit. You guys see you guys later. I'm taking the year off because it was a really good, at the time, chunk of change. So I went in with OPM and right. did, wrote songs with OPM, worked on, you know, with tons of people like cool. I had an uh, you know, opportunity to play, play with Ika Mouse, Yellow Man, a lot of reggae guys do tracks with. And I just recorded a lot of tracks, doing a lot of writing with Johnny. And then they asked me to be in the band full time. It was on Atlantic. Everything was good. And then all of a sudden, poof, that's gone. After about nine months, you know, the, we got dropped off Atlantic. And then I was going to quit again and just go back. And then all of a sudden, the Cottonmouth Kings, I was good friends with them. They uh, said, why don't you come out and do a solo Big V record? And that was like four years ago. And here we are today. All right, well, the new record. Let's talk about the new record. Uh, More to Hate is out now. Uh, it's doing well. White Trash Life is the first single off the record, and people like it. People dig it. Where, where did it come from for you? Is it like, is that how it was growing up, or is it more of uh, a song uh, for comedy relief? Yeah, it's it's kind of a comedy slash anthem. I just wanted to make a cool song that was fun that people kind of got into something different. You know, everyone tries to be so cool. I was like, ah, let's just say what we are. And, and you know, there's a lot of truth to that that thing. I'm a big car junkie. You know, I ride a lot of motorcycles i'm tattooed i love to drink so I pbr like, you like the pbr yeah, they've been good to me man i had uh, ronnie king from offspring clinton from di i had patrick shovel in uh that did all the dre stuff and you know still doing that all these guys came together to make this record and it was for me it was cool just to be able to make a good record this time with good people instead of not doing it in my closet well you're a good guy to help out i mean you're loaded with sponsors yes you uh you've done the reality tv stuff on inked yes you may have some other works in the future where can we find you if we want to get on the web um you don't know any of the sites carryheart.com slash <laughs> no heart and huntington tattoo.com uh myspace.com slash hooligan big b okay suburban noise records.com opm.com all right get off dot com streamradio.com our website yeah exactly that's where we're at right now see big b more to hate out now 